This message today goes out to all the Canadians, especially the Canadian truckers. I am so very proud of you. I applaud your bravery and your determination to stand up for freedom, democracy, and the rule of law. You have given hope to so many people in the world. You have shown the world that this small fringe minority is not all that small after all. More importantly, you demonstrated how to deal with an ever-increasing governmental overreach. This is not something you put up with. No, this is something you need to shut down. If you were really an insignificant small French minority, I wonder why Prime Minister Trudeau considered it necessary to flee to an undisclosed location and remain there in hiding. Apparently, he is afraid of the people, and so he should be. Because if the government is afraid of the people, that is what you call democracy. If the people are afraid of government, however, that's what you call a tyranny. Dear Canadians, do not give up. You are on the right path, and many people around the world are with you in their thoughts and wishes. I wish you the greatest possible success. Your bravery and determination to stand up for freedom, democracy, and the rule of law has inspired others to stand up to their governments as well. There have been numerous announcements of organizing freedom convoys all over the world. On Monday, February 7th, the European Convoy for Freedom is scheduled to arrive in Brussels, the capital of lunacy, the origin of this whole digital green certificate madness and all the harassment, discrimination and oppressive measures that came with it. I hope they will arrive in large numbers and I will be among those lining the streets, welcoming and cheering the desperately needed delivery of freedom, democracy and the rule of law.